So welcome back. In this video tutorial, we're going to be looking at the role of the psychologist in helping to manage pain. So let me ask you, Dr. McCoy, what is the association with how we think and how we process pain on our experience of persistent pain? Well, we, we talked in the first episode about the actual definition of pain, that it was a sensory and emotional experience. And I mentioned uh, in one of the further uh, episodes that that every experience that you have in your life, every sound, every, every, every taste, every smell, every experience that you have changes your central nervous system. And so it is with how we appreciate pain. If we have a fear that pain is going to, to damage us, then that pain will be exacerbated or amplified. If you are in an anxious state, it will amplify a pain. In a depressed state, it will amplify pain. Somebody with a personality disorder is going to have a different experience and expression of that pain. And so assessing the psychological aspect of the pain from a patient's perspective is of vital importance. And this is where we come back to the phrase the psychosocial biomedical aspects in assessment of pain and its management. So patients can have techniques and strategies developed with them in concert with the psychologist for managing pain, for dealing with flare-ups, for understanding the role of anxiety and their pain state. The psychologist will also be involved in not only one-to-one -one treatment but also in group like pain management program and we spoke about that earlier. Developing pain management techniques from a cognitive behavioral perspective or from a dialectic behavioral therapy can also be appropriate for the appropriate patient. And this needs specialist knowledge, specialist training, and special interest from a psychologist with those skills. So should every person experiencing pain, particularly from a case management perspective, should everybody see a psychologist? I think it would be important to have a psychological assessment. That does not mean that the psychologist has to do that particular assessment. Specialist pain medicine physicians have specialized knowledge, experience and qualifications in the overall assessment of patients pre presenting with persistent pain. And they do it in a psychosocial biomedical approach. So they take into consideration the psychological aspects, the background, the childhood, the developmental aspects, in addition to the biological aspects and the structural presentation of that patient with pain. They may feel that a psychological assessment in more detail is required or psychological therapy is provided for the patient either as a one-to-one -one or in a group setting. And that is where the psychologist comes in. So to answer your question, should every patient be assessed from a psychological perspective? That is correct, they should be. That does not need a psychologist in every situation, but the psychology assessment should be done by the specialist pain medicine physician in the first instance. So what recommendation would you give a case manager in terms of a question to include in a referral letter to ask you to assess the psychological aspects? The understanding or indeed the expectation that a case manager and the referring doctor or allied health professional would have coming to a specialist clinic for pain is that it would be done in a multidisciplinary fashion. And not on leaving out or omitting the psychological or physiotherapy or occupational aspect would be missing a very important part of the assessment and therefore having an incomplete resolution to the patient's persistent pain. What are you asking? You're asking for a multidisciplinary assessment in the first instance. It would be up to the specialist pain medicine physician to decide whether that multidisciplinary assessment might include a psychologist or a physiotherapist or an occupational therapist or all of these or a combination. And that is where the specialist pain medicine physician skills come into play. 
Okay, thank you for your insight on the impact of psychology on pain. Uh, in the next webinar, um, Dr. McCoy, we're going to look at poking the pain, looking at pain-related interventions such as anaesthetics, steroid, heat and cold, etc. Other different techniques. Hope you can join us again.